Hey guys, it's Jen from Ezekiel Effect Ministries. And I just wanted to tell you about a little fundraiser that I'm doing because the Lord has given me another assignment. And as you know, if you're a follower of Jesus, when the Lord gives you an assignment and he asks you to do something, you do it. <laughs> you are obedient and you say yes. So many of you know that I went to Israel last October and it was the trip of a lifetime. It just it changed my life forever. And I knew at that time I was going back at some point and I just had so much confirmation on the trip. I had so much confirmation since I've been back, but I honestly didn't think that I was going to be going back to Israel this year. I knew it was going to be in the future for ministry. I've been taking Hebrew. Um, but like a week and a half ago, the Lord whispered to me, I want you to go back to Israel and Brian Simmons and the, the tour that I went on last year are going in October again. Uh, the exact same dates literally this year as last year. And he wants me to go. And of course, you know, I stand on Ephesians 320 daily he's the god of exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine so i know that god can make whatever happens that he wants to but he also wants to partner with us and he wants to partner with me and he wants to partner with you now i've only done you know one fundraiser probably um in the last few years i used to fundraise when i did long distance biking and um you know it's it's fairly easy to do but I, I just you know i'm in a different set of circles now and circumstances are different and so the thought of fundraising just seems kind of daunting and on some level it's also a little bit embarrassing you know even though this is the lord i know what the i know i heard the lord clearly but you know it's like first world issues like oh well you just went to israel last year why would you go again you know why would you ask us for money well, the Lord wants me to because part of it is like me being humble and saying there's no way I could afford to raise this money, any of it. And I have my own business. So the money that I lose when I'm not working for six days um, is very significant. So literally, you know, raising $10,000 is is pretty much what it costs for the whole grand total between everything that I'm paying for, you know, taking care of my dogs, not being at work paying for the trip, paying for transportation. I have to get a separate flight out to New York. I mean, it's it's a lot of money. And um, it seems kind of ridiculous on some level, but on another level, the Lord was like, you need to make a video. You need to talk about this. You need to get people involved, you know, and, and it's such a pleasure and a blessing to sow into good ground. And what the Lord is doing in me, I don't know right now, but I know that this is for his glory and he wants to build not only my faith, but he wants to build your faith. And so if you decide um, with the Lord, if you, you know, if you want to pray about it, just ask the Lord, is this something you want to sow into? Think of it as sowing into a ministry because you are, you're sowing into my ministry and whatever I'm doing for the Lord, you know, that's what my ministry is about. It's an assignment. So you know, you're there with me. Um, not everybody's called to do the same things, but I, you know, I have been called to Israel for whatever reason in this season. And I've got my Star David necklace on today. And so I just wanted to, you know, humbly ask you for your support. I posted my GoFundMe um, link. I'm going to post it in this video below. And also I post it on all of my social media channels if you happen to see it there. Um, but just pray about it if you would and um, drop me a message, you know, if you have any questions or if you just want to have a, you know, um, make a comment or whatever, you know, that's totally great. But um, I'm just anticipating and expecting God's going to do big things. And I'm also standing on Hebrews 11:11. 11, 11. You know, um, when Sarah and Abraham wanted to have a child, you know, they waited their whole life basically and she was i don't know 80 something or 90 something years old when you know god opened her womb and that's what that verse is about you know is that sometimes later in life things come to conception you know things come to fruition and 
you know I'm 51 years old and I'm just now stepping into the best part of my life and God is going to do some amazing things and you're going to bear witness to it it's not me it's not by my power not by my strength not by my might it's by the power of the Holy Spirit so whatever happens is going to be supernatural by the power and of the Holy Spirit now the other part I didn't mention about this fundraising through the GoFundMe is literally like I have to have over I have to have two thousand dollars by the end of this week by July 15th and to get this to get these tickets ordered and to secure my spot and then in August we have to have the rest of it paid so this is kind of like time is of the essence which is also why our God is so big that I know he can do it so don't let fear stand in the way I'm not going to let fear stand in the way, but I'm standing in agreement for what the Lord wants to do in this hour. And I just, you know, I plead the blood of Jesus over all the fundraising. And I just thank you. For, you, you know, you may not even know me personally. You maybe just know me from this channel. Um, but I, I think it's just amazing how we can be connected all over the world, even though we don't personally know each other. And so I just want to give God the glory and just pray that you are blessed in your giving and in your life and in your family's life and that you stay under Psalm 91 protection in Jesus mighty name. So I thank you again for your support and I'll keep posting updates as we go. But until then, Shalom, Shalom.